Praise God from whom all blessings flow. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. I want to share a word about seeking the Lord with you today. The Bible reminds us uh, to seek the Lord while he may be found, to call on him while he is near. That's what Isaiah said. Uh, Isaiah said, seek the Lord while he may be found. Call on him while he is near. The prophet also said, listen to me, you who follow after righteousness. Who follow after righteousness, you who seek the Lord. Look to the rock from which you were hewn. And the hole of the pit from which you were dug. Isaiah says it like this. Yet they seek me daily and delight to know my ways as a nation that did righteous and did not forsake the ordinance of their God. They seek, they ask of me ordinance of justice. They, they take the light in approaching God. These particular scriptures from Isaiah the prophet, we're reminded to seek the Lord. Perhaps you've been seeking someone else. Isaiah 55 and 6 again says, seek the Lord while he may be found. Call on him while he is near. I want to remind you that God is for us. But we got to continue to seek him. God is for us. The Prince of Peace is for us. But we got to seek him. Our compassionate Lord is for us. But we need to continue to seek him. The healer is for us. But we got to continue to seek him. Our, our unchanging father is for us. James 1 and 17 remind us that he's unchanged. Uh, Psalm 147 and three reminds us that he is our healer. Isaiah nine and six remind us that he is the Prince of Peace. And Psalm 116 verse five remind us that he is compassion. God is for us. He's the ultimate forgiver. The ultimate forgiver is for us. First John one and nine reminds us that he's an ultimate forgiver. I share with you from Isaiah 51 and 1, which again said, listen to me, who follow after righteousness, you who seek the Lord. Look to the rock from which you were hewn. Do you know who made you? Do, you? do you know who your creator is? Look to him. God is for us. And to the hole of the pit from which you were dug, Lord have mercy. We were, we were in deep. Lord have mercy. God dug us out, brought us out to the marvelous light. When we remember who God is, what he's done, we'll be more likely to walk with hope when things are threatening to overwhelm us. What we fill ourselves up with every day is important. When we feel our mind true from God's word, we'll become acquainted with what God has for us, and what God is able to take us through. We'll be acquainted with the compassion of God that he is. I just want to remind you because some of us have lost our way. We don't understand our purpose. We began to drift. But you got to learn that, that, that when you uh, have been walking with God and you know that God with you, uh, that, that you can get back on the right track. God will give you a fresh start. But, but I came by to remind you because many of us know people who have um, drifted. We perhaps ourselves at one time drifted. People who received blessings, Lord have mercy, and lost their minds once they became blessed. I want to remind you Day that God is for us, God is with us, and God can see us through. 
once we get what we desire, we got to stay focused. We, we got to we got to walk in our spiritual authority. We got to continue to trust God. We got to continue to obey God. Once the crisis is over, once our obedience and discipline uh, uh, has helped us navigate our way, don't forget God. Don't don't forget that we still need Him. We 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 still should walk with Him, and talk with Him, trust Him, and obey Him. Why? Because He's a compassionate God. He's the Prince of Peace. He's our healer. He's our way maker. He's the promise keeper. And so don't lose focus. Don't lose your way. Some of us, we become too busy or too tired. Church, so arrogant and independent that we don't spend much private time with the Lord. But Jesus rose early in the morning, Mark 1, um, in 35, and, and went to a solitary place, prayed, separated himself from distractions, and separated himself from people in the world, and spent time alone with the Father before he chose his 12 disciples. Jesus spent all night in prayer. When was the last time you spent more than 10, 20 minutes with the Lord in prayer. I came by to remind you, as the prophet Isaiah said, seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call on him while he's there. Can I, can I get a witness? God will take care of you. He's done it before and he will do it again. Um, the tithe we sacrificed to pay uh, when we had little and the amount we gave was little. Uh, it now becomes too much, too much money to, to pay now that God has blessed us too, too, too much. But I came by to remind you that we still need God. We still need to honor God in our giving. When, when we first landed the job, we were excited and we uh, gave God our times. We, we appreciated him. We were grateful. We were enthused. We, 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 we became uh, competent. We became diligent. But then, but then after we stayed on the job, wow, and, and we got settled in, some of us lost our way. We, we, we became, we became um, uh, people who acted like people on the job, acted like people in the world. We lost focus. We stopped spending as much time with God. Isaiah says, seek ye the Lord <laughs> while he may be found. Call on him while he is near. Uh, when, when, when God blessed us, we were so glad, so glad that someone hired us on the job, that we were the, the most uh, operative people uh, in the world. However, we have been... Uh, on the job a while now, we uh, get new blessings and begin to grumble, find fault with the job. God gave us a way out and put people in our lives to help enhance us. And, and now we've lost our way. But, but I, Isaiah the prophet said, seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call on him while he is near. He reminds us to continue to obey the Lord, uh, continue on this journey um, uh, to success. We need to be in the presence of God. We need to honor God. We need to worship God. We need to give back to God. If obedience brought the blessing, then it would take you where disobedience cannot take you. If prayer brought the blessing, then it will take prayer to keep the blessing. Uh, if being faithful brought you this far and brought you the blessings in life, uh, it is, then it will take faithfulness to keep you. 
I, I came by to remind you that God is a good God. He loves us. His grace is sufficient. When you sit, he, he, he's going to continue to restore you and heal you. Uh, but you got to keep God first. Isaiah said, seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call on him while he is near. The writer then must be suggesting that there's a time when we will not be able to seek God or find. God will not always answer our prayers. God will not always hold our hand. God will not always pick us up when we fall. We have to be careful uh, that we don't uh, abandon the path that we've been on to gain the blessings and the breakthrough. God, 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 God has been too good to us for us to forget who he is, what he's done for us, and the doors that he can open for us in the days to come. I just want to remind you today to seek the Lord. I want to remind you today that God is for us. God is with us. God will sustain us. God will give us strength. Uh, one songwriter says, you are my peace. God will give us peace. I want to prepare to pray, pray for you because God can give you the peace which surpasses all understanding. But don't get it twisted. Uh, we need God every step of the way. Don't get it twisted. You did not arrive to where you are on your own. And it is the Lord that will bless you and help you make it through on life's journey. The hills you'll have to climb, the mountains you'll have to climb, the valleys that you'll have to go through, the rivers that you'll have to cross, the storm that you'll have to endure, you're gonna need the Lord. And so I came by to remind you this morning to seek the Lord while he may be Final. Let us let us pray. Almighty and everlasting God, we come in the name of Jesus to say thank you for your goodness and your mercy. Thank you for your loving kindness. Thank you for being our way maker. Thank you for being our healer. Thank you, dear God, for getting our attention. We pray in Jesus' name that we have been persuaded that you are still the author and the finisher of our faith. We pray that we have been encourage to seek the Lord while he may be found. We pray that we have been encouraged that the Lord is our help. The Lord is our refuge, a present help in the time of trouble. God have mercy upon us. Forgive us for our sins. Strengthen us. Bridle our tongues when we don't know what to say or how to say. Give us patience through the process. But we pray that we'll spend more time with you. We pray that we'll trust you, that we'll obey you, that we will love you with all of our heart, our soul, our mind, and our strength. We pray that we will love one another, that we'll be helpmates one to another. We'll encourage one another, dear God, that we'll forgive one another. We pray. In the name of Jesus, dear God, and we say thank you that it ain't over. We say thank you, God, that the best is yet to come. Thank you for rolling the stones away in our lives. Thank you for bringing us through the tornadoes, hallelujah, in our lives, the hurricanes in our own lives, dear God, and in our family. We say thank you for the earthquakes in our personal lives that you brought us through, dear God. We say thank you for the Sonoma that you brought us through, dear God. You've been our tr bridge over troubled war. Hallelujah. You, you've been our rock in the weary land. Hallelujah. God, for that we say thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Forgive us and have mercy upon us. 
In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. The Bible says, if you will confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe that God has raised him from the dead, you shall be saved. The word of God reminds us that for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. I came by to remind you that God still heals, he still forgives, but more than that, he still saves. Just give your life to Christ. Connect with a church where you can grow and gain wisdom, knowledge, and understanding where you can walk in the favor of a God. Um, St. James, the me Church, would love to have you. I'm Pastor Jones, 625 Dummett Avenue in the great city of Titusville, Florida. Come be with us, 10 o'clock a.m. on Sunday mornings, 10 o'clock Eastern. If you can't be with us in present, pres in live, in person, you can join us on YouTube or on Facebook Live. Uh, if you want to study with us the Word of God, uh, if you want prayer with us, hallelujah, go to our website uh, and look at, uh, go to our Facebook page, look at the times of prayer where we pray together at 6 a.m. The number is there uh, where you can uh, come and pray with us. I'll give you a word every morning at 6 a.m. At, at Eastern Time. Uh, for about 15 minutes, we'll pray and we'll share a word of God to encourage you uh, so that God can bless you and you can be a blessing uh, to your family, your community, and your church. Uh, we also share the word at 7 p.m. on Tuesdays, Tuesday night teaching TNT. Uh, catch it on Facebook or on YouTube. And, and also uh, uh, 12 noon on Wednesday, Hour of Power. You can come live. You're here teaching. We'll pray for you live. Uh, and then also you can uh, see it on YouTube and Facebook, a different setting, different teaching from the live, but you can be blessed. Uh, and, and God is up to something good. We would love for you to be a part of it. Uh, this is Pastor Jones. I love you, and I pray God's continuous blessings be upon you and your family. I pray, I pray that you realize that God is for us. God is for us. And I pray uh, that you will continue um, uh, to put your hope and your trust in the Lord. Uh, again, the scriptures for today was uh, Isaiah 51 and 1. Listen to me, you who follow after righteousness, you who seek the Lord, look to the rock on which you were him and, the whole, and to the hole of the pit from which you were dug. Isaiah 55 and 6 says, seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. And then Isaiah 58 and 2. Yet they seek me daily and delight to know my way. Is that you? Are you seeking God daily? Do you delight to know his way as a nation that did righteousness and did not forsake the ordinance of their God? Don't forsake the ordinance of God. They ask of me the ordinance of justice. They take delight in approaching God. I pray that you will seek God in his ordinances. I pray that you will seek God for justice. And I pray that you will take delight and approaching God. Have a wonderful day. I look forward to God blessing you and you telling, giving a testimony about the goodness of the Lord. Have a good day.